Hi guys, Brain here, and today is a little bit of a different video. This one's kind of more uh, impromptu. Um, it's like 4 a.m. right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a little different than my usual recording schedule. Things are a little bit different. And I just want, kind of wanted to get something off my chest and speak honestly. Uh, not that I speak dishonestly when I make my other videos, but you know what I'm saying. Not like, like oh, it's just a topic and I'm just going to talk about it. Like, I just want to talk from the chest, like very firmly from the chest about something. Um, I think I've been in a situation over time recently that just keeps, not building up, but it just keeps rearing its ugly head. And I just find it very disheartening uh whenever that situation rears its uh, ugly head and that situation being that um people seem to have this uh uh perception of me that i am very very uh intensely anti-survivor or i really dislike survivors or i really really want to kind of only paint to the side of the game from the killer perspective and without regard to the survivors and their role in the game um, and I think that's a, that's anytime I make a video, that's a little bit more like, I guess scathy, I don't know what the word scathy, but a little bit more critical of like a survivor perk or a survivor play style or that sort of thing. Like if I want to talk about how like, oh, well, like, um, I wish that this map was prettier and nobody bats an eye, but the moment I'm like, Hey, dead heart's kind of annoying. Like suddenly I'm a crying killer main or I, everything I believe about survivors is free and that killers are so oppressed, blah, blah, blah. Like things that I never say or do. It's just you. And I do. I will say with the little caveat is like usually people say that like it's an emotional thing, right? Like I feel like you're like this or I say I, it, you're you're crying because of something you said. It's never any. They can never directly find anything or directly get a quote from me that's like me directly saying any of this. It's just based on feelings. But it still like bothers me that that is a perception of me that exists. And I wanna really go into like, and we're, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane, you and I. We're gonna take a trip down memory lane. There was a time on my channel last year, I believe. I don't remember what time last year. But uh, time last year on the channel where I basically alienated most of my audience and had to rebuild this YouTube channel from where it was up until that point. I made a video, which is still one of my most popular videos for some reason. I was trying to visualize. I was trying to visualize that how teamwork is really, really strong in Dead by Daylight. And that's why archetypical versions of like gen rushing or super survivor efficiency exists is because teamwork when done well in Dead by Daylight, it's excessively strong. And that's why, you know, that's why the archetypical boogeyman of killers is the four man swift, because if they're in comms, then like they are operating with that efficient teamwork, always keeping people healed, knowing when to split up on gens, knowing when to get onto gens together. The cooperation is very powerful. So I did a top down uh, analysis of that. I'm just using a map and Photoshop and some PNGs of the characters, just so you know, like a typical match of like, good rotation, uh, sending the right person for the save, all that wonderful stuff. But I think uh, the result of that was a lot of people walked away from that video assuming that for some reason I was just a die-hard killer fan and I hated survivors. And I... A lot of people didn't outright say that, so I just kind of didn't really understand that that was happening. And I noticed the more and more of my commentary videos that I that I released, there was a lot of just like really out there comments, right? Like, oh, well, well, survivors are like that, dude. They only care about themselves. And just like really, you know, really unhinged, like really super biased weirdo statements uh, like that, that just made, made you go, hmm, that's kind of awkward. And it built up and built up. And I slowly came to realize that Simply because I enjoy killer and I favor killer. I'm an 80-20 killer. I play killer 80% of the time compared to my 20% on survivor. At least according to the last time I checked my stats. Because of that, I was perceived to be just like wholly a killer guy and I hated survivors. So essentially all this came to a head where I realized that most of my viewer base were those super intense weirdo killer mains that like can't make mistakes, blame everything on survivor, hate survivors, like all that really toxic negative stuff is I was building that entitled angry killer fan base 
as my viewer base. And there was a video I released last year that said that I think it's a message to I think it's like a message to killer mains or a message to my killer mains or something like that. I'll, I'll throw that up somewhere around here when I go find it after this recording. Um, but essentially I said like, hey, like if you're here because you think I'm like this super biased killer main and I'm here to just absolutely just like dump on survivors and talk about how terrible survivors are and be mean to them all the time. Like that's not who I am. That's not what I do. I want to... Like, I'm going to talk about killer stuff more because it's the role I play more. But I like this game, and I care about this game, and I care about this game's community as a whole, and not just the one side. Am I going to mostly talk about killer stuff because that's because that's the role I play more? Yeah. That's like 100% what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about the role that I play more because that's like that's what I do. I'm going to talk about the role that I have the most experience with. That's going to talk about the role I have the most expertise with. And that's what I'm going to talk about. But... I'm not here to just kind of like stroke the egos of you guys who just aren't willing to admit your own mistakes and are unwilling to look past your own biases. I'm not here for you because I feel like you guys are bad for the game's health. So I'm not making content for you. So I basically looked at like my growing viewer base at the time and I said, you need to leave. <laughs> you need to get out. So I, 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 I kind of, in a sense, like shot myself in the foot because I just, I mean, it was for a good reason, but I looked at, I looked at my viewer base and I said, go away, <laughs> leave, get out of the way, <laughs> get, get out of my house. Because I, I realized I was, um, I, I had gained a lot of those kind of like really toxic members of the community under my belt and I wanted them gone. And I think that's why it like, like it, it double sucks and it just like gets under my skin when people still have this perception that I'm like, I, I just hate survivors or I'm not willing to um, see survi the survivor side fairly when I literally like, <laughs> like literally did that. Like I literally like, like shooed away people in my own community, like shooed away my uh, growing community that I had because of their, their unkind and unnatural way of seeing the game. Uh, or unethical way of seeing the game. I literally drove those. I made a. I made a concentrated effort to drive those people away, to drive them um, away from being part of this community. And people still have this perception that you know, for some reason, that I hate survivors, and I'm not willing to hear survivors out or seeing survivors fairly. And I just, I just don't know where that comes from. And I, it might just, this might just be pointless to talk about because I there's something I've realized about the day by daylight community is like you can't make everybody happy you can't make it like <laughs> it's just impossible like people are so wrapped up and emotional and they just freak out over everything that it's like it's impossible to make everybody happy like like sometimes running one slowdown is enough to just like turn most of the survivor community against you and sometimes even just kind of like mentioning that like oh well you know DS does have a place in a game in the game and then suddenly like everybody on the killer side hates it. you know it's like you can't make everybody happy you just can't um and I think that's like maybe something I just have to come to grip with, grips with is that like I can't I can't make everybody happy sometimes like some like you can't appease everyone and there's no way to make everybody especially in the volatile nature of the DVD community there's no way to make everybody like you um I hate that because <laughs> I feel like I try my best to be like, well, no, I'm going to make more killer content because that's what I have more expertise with. That's what I like more. But I try to consider um, the survivor side of the things for the very little experience I have as much as I can when I'm talking about uh, my experiences or my takes. And it, it's like it's still not good enough. Like I'm still I'm still the survivor hater to a lot of people. And it's just, you know, maybe I just can't ever convince those people. You know, some people just like to run with what they feel run with what their perception is and not really care about like what's going on and i need to like stay in my own lane and keep doing what i'm doing because i like what i do and i really really enjoy what i do and i like hanging out with you guys I like talking to you guys in the comments i like um all that stuff um so i should keep doing that uh irregardless of just some people <laughs> you know it's, it's not a mass majority it's just it's just some people it's just like you know you wish you could just like pull them aside and just like have a conversation be like hey that's that's not me but it's it's like hard to convince people right um i think usually when i get into these situations too where i'm like i say something and somebody's like well that sounds like you're just you just hate the survivors and you just don't want the survivors to have everything and i go into the comments and i explain like no i just want you to understand that like 
this thing might be a little strong. It doesn't mean that this other thing can't be strong. I'm just saying that this thing's a little strong and it could be adjusted. I'm not saying, I'm not, if I'm, if I'm saying that I think Dead Heart's too strong, I'm not saying I don't think Noed is strong or I'm not saying I don't think Ruin is strong. Like people equate these things where like, they're like, well, if you think this is strong, I don't hear you complaining about, about Ruin. And I'm like, well, that's because I, I, <laughs> I play Survivor like once or twice a week. Like I don't, I, I, and even then I don't really run into Ruin that much <laughs> you know um like it's not it's just not something i have a place of expertise on it's not something that i have a lot of experience with i do have a good bit i'd say enough as much as like any casual player would have but it, like the reason i talk about killer so much is because i play it non-stop i get way into it i learn the intricacies of it and uh, that's where most of my two and a half thousand hours are so i can speak more from a place of understanding and um educate better through that because that, that's the one i'm in, uh, more close to being an expert on i'm not an expert on survivor things so like i don't know i wouldn't know what to say i'm not like not saying anything because i'm like oh well like uh, i really want to only cover call, c cover killer things and i and uh, and survivors can just just figure it out on their own like i'm not i'm not doing that i'm not sitting here doing that it's just like i know i say things like I'm not like other YouTubers where I just say things just to just to get your attention, just just to farm the views, to farm the interactions. Like that's not me. That's not what I do. Like, and that's why I don't really comment or do a lot with the survivor side of things because I know I'm not an expert on that. I know that I that's not a place where I really understand everything. Am I no way an expert? I don't even think I'm fully an expert in Killer Hill. I think I'm approaching it. I'm getting better every day. But I still don't even think I'm an expert in that. It's just like something I do know I have expertise in and more compared to like somebody who only plays the game casually, right? But like with Survivor, I'm not at that point. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even have, I think, I think an average person who's playing DBD is still a better Survivor than me by a lot. <laughs> so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about my rework ideas for a strong perk against Survivor when I really don't have a good grasp or understanding of like what it is like to be a survivor with expertise going against something like that like i just i don't want to misspeak or mislead and talk from a place of expertise when i don't have that expertise yet you know and i and and i i don't know if this is just like worries from like other channels that do speak and do do those things but i'm not going to talk about things that i'm i'm not a i'm not a resource of knowledge about like I, I was a, I was a teacher for four to five years, depending on how you count student teaching. I, my, my area of expertise was social studies, right? I wouldn't go teach math because just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean I, I'm good at all subjects. I wouldn't go teach math. I would like I'll, I'll teach anything with social studies, and I basically have, I've world history, U.S. history, geography, like <laughs> anything besides like AP stuff. Um, I've taught about every like general social studies course that you can think of a high schooler would learn. Um. But like, I wouldn't go teach math, <laughs> you know, because I, that's not my area of expertise. That's not what I'm trained in. That's not what I have the most like experience with. Um, and that's like kind of the same way I run this ship with the YouTube channel where I'm not going to go off about survivor stuff a bunch because that's not my expertise. Could, could I still teach basics? Yeah, because like, you know, I still have basic knowledge of those things. And I, but that's as, that's as far as that goes, right? Whereas like the killer stuff, which is which is more my wheelhouse, I can I can give you eh, like tons and tons. Literally, I give you daily takes, daily ideas, like all this wonderful stuff, because that is my expertise. So I don't know. I guess I just wanted to explain that like this this perception that I just like don't like survivors, or I think that like uh, like survivors are just dumb or they just they're like the killers are always right in every situation that's that's not true <laughs> and 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 the uh, reasoning for that uh is that hey i had a chance to kind of like take that route of i'm i'm the killer main and i'm going to herald the biased killer mains i i actually I literally turned those people away <laughs> i literally said get out of my channel and uh be that i just don't talk about survivor stuff that much because I want to be in a place where I actually have the expertise and the experience that I will be saying smart and intelligible things uh, with that experience rather than just kind of like saying stuff for the sake of content that comes off as very crummy, uninformed, and essentially just bad content. 
bad content. Like, I want to put out quality content, and I don't think I'm experienced enough with Survivor yet to be able to put out that quality content. So, yeah. That's it. That's it for this one. I know it's a little bit of a long one, but it's just like, it's just been on my mind lately. And I think I was just sitting here at 4 a.m. And I'm like, you know what? I just, and instead of just thinking about it in my head and just like having that storm go by, I'm just going to actually talk about it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to rant. So yeah, here, there was the rant, friends. Thank you so much for watching. This is a daily upload channel, as I mentioned before. So I will see you tomorrow. But if I don't, I will see you when I see you, friends. Goodbye. <laughs>